Jotty van from 48,800. This is the cheapest, theoretically the cheapest uh, vehicle, uh, well, with an engine, uh, that you can get here at Caravan Salon Dusseldorf, at least this year. So 50,000 euros, I mean, there was something claiming to be 30,000 euros two years ago. It was a load of nonsense. Uh, nobody paid 30,000 euros for it, as far as I am aware. I have not heard of anybody paying that. So this is actually, I think it is the cheapest vehicle here. I might be wrong. I might, somebody might come with the camper van, which is even cheaper, but I don't know. Now, uh, this at 541 centimeters in length is uh, a what I would call a tiny van. Uh, you can't get a Fiat Ducato any shorter uh, or any smaller. Sorry, one you can stand up in any smaller than this. So from that point of view, uh, that's really good because you can park it just about everywhere. Um, trying to show things to you um, which, which are important. Right, you've got a bed, you've got a toilet, you've got a shower, you've got cooking facilities, you've got a sink and it's a nice sink as well. Actually this also here looks quite impressive. The knobs have been removed hopefully by uh, somebody from Jotty Line and not uh, they were pinched because things like that do tend to go missing here. Um, this uh, Jotty Line is a cheap brand of uh, Rapido. It was acquired by Rapido around three, four years ago. I can't quite remember when it was now. But uh, I've got to say that Rapido has made some major improvements to it because before it had a really bad uh, reputation for things like water ingress and uh, things of that nature. So they do actually test it now before it leaves the factory, apparently, for things like water ingress. Right, so there you've got two... Um, uh, what you got? <laughs> uh, shore power and 12 volts. You've got the, seen the fridge, two-way fridge. Uh, we've got this uh, uh, can uh, sink and hobs. Uh, we've got storage in the bulwark. We've got a Truma heater up here. And uh, we've even got, uh, we can see uh, up here to turn things on in the vehicle. Table is relatively good uh, size for a vehicle of this, uh, of, of this size. And up there is a space for the television, two d USBs, and you've also got a 12 volt plug. I think the television could actually work from that. Up here, whoops, wow. Well, the hinges work anyway quite well. And uh, uh, that is relatively deep inside as well. Oh, wow. That's the, that's, that's, that's not a reflection of the quality of the workmanship, that's the uh, quality of the hinge which is there. Okay, let's, um, extension to the kitchen, let's have a walk around the, uh, to the back. Uh, so, oh, so, what did I say the price was? Uh, now it's, it's now 56,200. Why? Because it's got some extras. Got this pack jotty van, it's got this pack privilege, and uh, oh, and it's got a, uh, it's got a bigger engine that, uh, than than it would have been. And but this thing here, you've got to pay that anyway. So it's not it's two thousand uh, one thousand nine hundred euros for the uh, for delivery, at least delivery from Dusseldorf. Uh, if you turn up the factory, uh, then maybe it'll, uh, you can negotiate on the price. I don't know. Uh, that's what it looks like the rear. Uh, Storage here, you've got the uh, gas cupboard. And here this is, you can, as with old camper vans, this will come up, it'll move to one place or another. You can uh, therefore uh, use the space under it for carrying other things. You can put the mattresses to one side. Uh, there's even a buckle up there to hold them from. You've got storage above the bed on both sides. Okay, it's only 541 centimeters, so you've can got a tiny footprint, so that's something quite positive. Um, having said all that, uh, let's have a look uh, at it again from the front. Um, now, the, so when you see the word, it says from, like, or in German, ab, 
uh, it doesn't necessarily mean that it can get it at that price. And this was what I mentioned was at, um, in 2021, uh, it was Clever Vans advertising a van for 29,999, I think it was, uh, which was totally impossible to do. And I don't think anybody bought it. I think it was rather unclever, rather disingenuous of the company to actually suggest that that was possible. The cheapest vehicles that I've seen here are from Jotty Van. And uh, does one buy something which is cheap or not? I don't know. Sorry, I said Fiat Ducato. It's on a Peugeot Boxer. Sorry. And um, uh, I believe it was on the uh, Ducato previously. There are some difficulties with deliveries on the uh, on the on the Ducato. Anyway. Thanks for watching, hope you found it interesting. Upload every day at 21.15. So if you're interested in camp vans and motorhomes, this is the largest channel for such things on YouTube. But for the moment, for me, thanks for watching.